Welcome and thank you for joining me. I'm your host Greg and welcome to Midsummer Railway. Midsummer Railway is an end scale, but today I am going to, on a field trip. We're going to Druin, which is about 20 minutes, 25 minutes out of Melbourne, Australia. And we're going to see a DCC++ EX in action. Now here you can see that I'm setting up a mega and we're going to put DCC++ EX. Now I know the guys have um, from the website have done a great job and you they've actually got a few videos up. But this is a little bit more practical where I'm going to show you how simple it is and they've done that before. But I'm also going to put it into action and we're going to actually see DCC running on a big layout. Now Dave's layout is in a shed and yes it gets dusty and it is summer here in Melbourne. So we have a lot of dust and he's still working on his layout, still cleaning up. Now Dave uh, bought my old um, double O scale um, which I had and I downsized and then I started in scale. So, as you can see the website, and now my computer where we're going to uh, see me actually upload uh, the um, files to the Arduino. I'm using a clone Arduino Mega, and I'm using a genuine Arduino Motor Shield. So I've downloaded the file, and then we extract it. And once we've so extracted, you can see then we're I'm going to run it. for the file to execute the automation. The automation makes it very simple. You don't need to know programming. You don't need to think about anything else other than what you want. So you basically select the file to execute. And once you select this file, up pops this screen. Now you need to wait a little bit. And then what happens is it automatically downloads the files, um, the latest files for um, execution, then you simply select what you're going to run. Now I selected, as you can see on the screen, eventually <laughs> I've selected um, um, DCCEX and then I've selected my Mega and then I've selected my Arduino I then select my COM port that the Arduino Mega is on, simply hit compile and upload. Once this is done, you will see the bar go across. So eventually when I get it into the screen and hit the button, It then starts its upload. As you can see, it's doing lots of stuff. You don't have to think about it. It just does this automatically for you. Loads the Arduino. And then it comes and says it's uploaded. And finally, it tells you upload, finished, complete, done, simple. So, as you can see, there's the Arduino. It's uh, been uploaded. Then I simply put on the motor shield on top, making sure I get all the pins in the right place. And we're ready to go. So, shortly we'll be off to Dave's place. And in his garage, which is outside, it's a tin shed or tin garage for those people. Um, and yes, it is summer, and yes, he is still working on cleaning it up, but it's a big layout, it's a big shed. Here we are in Druin, Victoria. As you can see on the screen, we've got JMRI. And down here we have DC... C++ EX on an Arduino Mega and a Arduino Motor Shield. And as you can see it's very simple. 
all pre-programmed. So we can run it off our mobile phones, but for this exercise we're going to watch the train. So as you can see, here's an EWS, it's a Hornby. We have an ANE model group DCC decoder in it. And as you can see, it's running very slow, very smooth. It's a 60048 Hornby. And as you can see, there's still lots of work to be done, particularly on some of the curves, but we're getting there slowly. As you can see, it coming around in the straight. Nice engine. So as you can see, the speed setting with JMRI. And here we have the EWS Hornby 60048. So we're at Dave's place. Here's Dave. Good morning or good afternoon. Or good evening, wherever you wherever are watching. You are. Hello to my friends in the UK. <laughs> I'm back up doing some work. Greg's the bastard behind it. Well, I'm just a golfer. Oh, I've your way out. <laughs> I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's well. I shall continue trying to build this part up that I pulled apart the other day. So, so we have three tracks. That's correct. Three tracks which will eventually... We're going to join up into the centre section here that I purchased from this extremely good young man who's doing this uh, filming and this will be joined up together and the, once we can get rid of all this mess we will have a nice little set out. This is going to be raised up to level with this and then we will have the three tracks going and a shunting yard and a turntable in the middle there. All shall be revealed. Wrong way. Wrong way. You might have to give him a bit more roughy with him. Oh, I was just going to see how he got on. Yeah. Actually, it might work the opposite. It might work good. Bit. This has got an ANE decoder in it.
want to say a big thanks to Dave for letting us join him and his layout. And I want to thank you for watching and hi to all our relatives in England and our friends in the rest of the world. Thank you for watching.